My name is Thomas Little, and I have a SQL Server DBA for over 15 years, working in multiple industries, such as the legal, financial, and manufacturing industry. I have a personal blog at www.thomaslittledba.com. You can also visit my YouTube channel at yt.tldba.co. You can also like us on Facebook at fb.tldba.co. And these are, again, links and articles, uh, links to articles and videos that just can further your career as a database administrator. You can also reach me on my personal email at t-l-i-d-d-l-e, the number 30, at gmail.com. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk a little bit about dynamic data masking. So what is DDM? Dynamic data masking limits the exposure to sensitive data to users that should not see the data. Uh, it works in conjunction with already other secure features in SQL Server, such as SQL auditing and TDE. Uh, and you can mask the data in different ways. You could do full masking. You can do partial masking. Full masking means they see none of the data. Partial masking will see they only see some of the data. Maybe they see um, in an email address. Maybe they see the first letter of the username, the at sign, uh, and no domain name. Uh, they could see a social security number where they only see the last four digits. A uh, number of different ways you can mask the data. And we're going to go over that in this demo. Um, keep in mind that although a user can uh, may not be able to see the data, any updates to it are still committed and will still be applied. So some permissions and use cases. Uh, users with select permissions on the table can view the data, uh, the table and the data, and columns that are defined as mass will display as mass data. So if you have select permissions, you'll be able to select and view the data. However, if, you, if the data is masked, it will be masked in that select statement. Uh, grant the unmasked permission uh, to a user to enable them to retrieve unmasked data. So there's different permissions that you can apply uh, to certain users that you want to see the data or you don't want to see the data. Uh, some typical use cases, uh, you need to mask the SSN in a column, uh, maybe the email address or phone number. Um, if, you're re if you're copying data from production down to dev uh, and you want to mask the data, you can do that. Um, you can, it can be endless uh, in the number of use cases that you have or what you want to actually mask. Okay, so let's jump into a quick demo of our procedure. So our demo today uh, will start with a table in our HR database called, or in our sample database called employee. Uh, and so we're going to just create a very simple table um, in that scenario. So let's get this going. Let's create that table. Okay. So what you can see here is we're going to create a table called uh, employee. It's going to have an employee ID, first name, last name, social, personal email, but we're going to mask the personal email with a built-in email function. Okay. So we're going to create that table there in our sample DB. So next we're going to insert some sample data. Uh, and we're just going to insert just two simple rows into our table. Uh, John Doe and Ralph Smith. All right. Now, now that we have a table with our sample nodes, now we're going to create a HR rep user with permissions to select from the uh, employee data. And this HR rep is uh, going to be a user that would be able to, oops, let's get the right text here. Do this here. Here we go. So this user that we'll create, we'll be able to, we'll use as our kind of guinea pig. That's the person that is either going to see our data or not see our data. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you that since we, 
what the HR rep will see. So let me explain. So remember when we created our table that we masked the email address. Now currently I'm logged in as me. You can see down here I am marked, I have logged in as, as SA. So when I execute this query, I'm going to see the data as it exists in the database. However, what I'm doing here is um, I'm going to execute the same code as the HR rep user, which does not have permissions to see the personal email address and will get the masked data. So if I execute this, you can see in this personal email, this data is now masked. Okay. Now, let's say now we want to alter the column. So did anybody see in my uh, table that I actually have social security number? Oops, that we actually had social security number. And I didn't mask that. I actually kept that. And I'll show you. Let's just put this here. Let me show you. You could see here when I created this table, I only did the personal email. I didn't do SSN. But now we need to make sure that we mask the SSN. So I have this alter table statement. So this is how you alter a table that is masked, so that you, or a column that you want to mask. Um, you can see here this new function called partial. So you can actually specify uh, you only want partial data to be masked here. And as you can see, my data is expressed this way. So I'm going to do all of this, but leave the last four. So we're going to alter this. And now our table is successful. So let's go back and run our select statement again. Now this is as me. So you can see as SA, I ran this quote, I ran this code and I could see the data. However, when I execute it as my HR rep, they now cannot see this data. Okay? So now <clears throat> so now they can't see the data. So now let's now that we've altered the column, let's say we want to drop the mask. Okay? So that employees can see the data. Let's drop the mask on, let's say, let's drop the mask on the personal and personal email. Let's do that. So we'll go here and run this statement. This is alter table, table name, alter com, column, drop mask. So we're going to drop this and see it's successful. And then let's run our code again. Remember, the top code is, is run under essay, and the bottom code here is executed as the rep user. Okay, so if you look here, this is me as SA, and this is as the rep user. You can see that the mask has been removed, and now they can see the data. So that's a very short demo of uh, data masking in SQL Server 2016. You can uh, go to my website at www.thomaslittle dba.com to see this article and be able to take the code and execute it yourself. Thank you.